Hello guys, it's Sir John again. Uh, this is going to be number two, uh, part two of my Autodesk Maya tutorials, um, teach you guys how to model and stuff. So we're going to start um, modeling this thing right away. Uh, it's just, it's pretty basic. Um, the hardest part's going to be down here because that's a, a weird piece of geometry. So, this is what we're going to make, all right? And you guys could follow along. And we will make it. All right, so we're going to start with a the cylinder. There's my cylinder. And then, well, I'm just going to subdivide this. So, I'm going to do... Uh, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna add subdivisions. So I'll put like 40. You don't really need to, but just to teach you guys how to do stuff. All right, so we're gonna drag up the vertices. Remember, I told you guys about the menus. All right, and so how tall are these things? This is actually in centimeters. All right, guys. Uh, so someone came in my room. All right. So we're going to be using the extrude tool, which is up here in edit mesh edge extrude because we're extruding an edge and uh, press W and we're going to just create the top part real quick. Oops, uh, thinking of the wrong program. All right, now we're going to resize that. Then G to repeat the action you just did. G again. Um, You know what? There's a better way of doing this. Um, I'm going to undo everything I just did. And we're going to just drag these up. And I'm going to use the modeling toolkit. We're going to use multi cut. And we're going to cut in the edges. So we're going to do the top first. So it looks like there's a small little ridge. All right. See, I'm doing this right now, this little piece. And then they're going to go out like this. All right. And so, oh, by the way, to do a cut all around the object, you hold control. And it'll cut all around. And so we'll do two more cuts. I'm gonna cut right here and I cut right here. And cut. Up here. All right, we'll just work with that for now. All right, so edge, double click to do an edge loop, which is where you go all the way around an edge. All right, we're gonna actually bring this down a little bit because that's not in the middle. All right, so that's gonna be our crease. Don't worry about it not being smooth because we're gonna smooth it out later. Um, This looks like it's slightly smaller than the middle part. All right, that's a little bit smaller. And then it goes down pretty violently. And We're going to 
way to have it get skinnier. This is going to be the skinniest part. We're going to go ahead and select all these faces. You can choose the drag tool from your modeling toolkit and you can just drag all the way around and hold shift and click to select an extra edge or whatever you're selecting. All right. So we need this to be skinny. I'm just gonna delete these faces. We don't need those. All right. So I want it to be skinny. Not that I like that skinny. Should be good. No, nope, not that skinny. All right, that seems like a normal water bottle. All right, and now we're gonna use our extrude tool. Add a mesh, edge, extrude, W, drag up. And then we're gonna create the little, so right now we're doing this neck and we're gonna press G to do another extrude. Gonna make that bigger. Bring it up a tad. G again. And we're gonna resize it to make it way smaller. All right. Then this is kind of unnecessary because it's not going to be showing, but we'll just do the top. All right, so that looks fine. I actually am going to go into vertex mode and bring this down a little bit. All right, so we have this uh, top part kind of kind of done. Now we're going to cut in the bottom pieces. So I'm thinking we're going to cut in this part. And then we should be, we should be good. All right, so looks like it goes up a little bit. We're going to cut in extra edges because when we smooth this out, it needs to have a, a, it needs some close edges. Let's just say that. I'll show you real quick. All right. So if we press three, if we don't have edges that are close together, then it's going to like smooth out way too much. So press one to go back. All right, so we're gonna put away multi-cut. We're gonna go into edge mode and we're actually gonna grab this one and this one. And we're going to make them a little smaller. And then we need to do the bottom. All right, this is going to be the hard part. Um, let me figure out how I'm going to do this. I guess I'll just shrink this bottom part since it's usually a little smaller. Um, all right, so there's different ways we could do this. We're going to try it this way. All right. So you're going to select an edge. Now we're going to go into this x ray mode. All right. 
we're going to select the things that are opposite of each other. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, or nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we're going to one, two, stupid me. All right. So pretty much we want these ones. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Alright, so this is good. We're gonna go ahead and drag these up. Um, we're gonna go out of X-ray mode. We don't need it anymore. Alright, we're going to grab these ones, uh, we can fix that weird nonsense later, alright, so it kind of goes like this. And we're going to cut in, we can't cut one in anymore. Let me look at this in smooth. All right, so we're gonna undo everything we just did. Sorry about that. I cut out the errors, but this is going to happen to you guys, so got to, you know, show it. We're going to cut in an extra edge. Actually, we're going to select this edge and we're going to extrude it so it's smaller. What's happening here? I don't know what that was all about. All right, edit mesh, extrude, resize, what is happening? Okay, well, all right. Just resize it till you think it's the right size. And then we're just gonna use the drag tool. I'm gonna go face mode and select all these and delete them. And then we're gonna select all these faces. I'm gonna go to normals and then reverse. And now they're on the outside. All right. Vertex mode. X-ray. And that looks like it's straight across from each other. Yep. All right, that'll be fine. Just gonna do the same thing we did before. I don't create these models before I do the tutorials, so. And then we're gonna put some cuts right here and right here. 
And if we press three, um, Press three. And I think that looks pretty good actually. So we're just going to leave it like that. Um, but we're going to fill this hole, obviously. So edge, double click to loop, and then mesh fill hole. I actually think water bottles have five of these, so that's why ours looks really wide, but that's okay. And let's see where we lost detail up here. All right. So we're going to go back into one, going to get our multi cut tool, and we're going to cut in some edges around here. And around here and here. And press three. Um, make this a little smaller. Just cut in a little thing right here. And then we need this to be sharper. this happen it's just wait a second why are there do I have two objects right now no I don't know why it's uh, cutting in weird things All right, we're gonna move this down. Then we're gonna multi-cut right here. And we're gonna drag this one up. It's not what we want. Why is it doing that? That's weird. Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. All right, whatever, that's good. Um, so how does this look compared to this? We need to, we need to do this better. 
this little part. All right, and control delete if you want to delete an edge and also get rid of the vertices. Because if you just uh, do an edge loop and delete, you go into vertice mode, vertex mode, you could see that there's still vertices left behind. We're gonna shrink this a little bit. the three all right all right so I fixed this part a little bit there was a weird edge that I was looking at earlier and uh, this part I made a little less intense so I think the feet are still too wide so I'm gonna shrink them how we're gonna do that is we're going to grab this and uh, we're actually just gonna do this one without being like exact we're just gonna kind of go with it with our eyes so whatever looks good to you just shrink it down to that size make sure we have all the edges right try to make them the same size And for some reason, this one went down. Oh, okay, that's why. All right, so we shrunk these down a little bit. Go into object mode, and we're actually going to cut in uh, divisions on here. A reason. All right, I guess we have to do this by hand. I'm just holding shift and going around the outside edge. And we will edit mesh and um, 